Welcome to the first episode of 2013 of the Bisque and Noodle Show. I am Bisque and that is Noodle. We hope you are having a great 2013 so far, boys and girls. Hope uh, you're doing your resolutions, uh, Bisque and Noodle. Well, there is no think. such thing as resolutions. As Zack Ryder said, <laughs> I make revolutions, not resolutions. You're right. No, actually, the exact quote would be, I don't make resolutions, I make revolutions. Woo, woo, woo. 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 <laughs> uh, you have a clip? Yeah, um, I was getting this episode. It's called... It's a, It was an idea my friend and I made up, and it's called Noodle Man and the Crazy Driver. Enjoy. Good, you're awake. <clears throat> yeah, you you just um were sleeping and I found you somewhere and now you're in my car. What what wait what what? I I'm in a car. I, I don't remember falling asleep in a car. I I uh, I'm not prepared to. Uh, wait, I'm not to. I'm not prepared to be on camera. There's a camera in here. What what? Where am I? What what? Uh, you're who are you? You're in a random car. Clearly, I'm in a random car with a random person in a random area. And a random, I'm assuming this is planet Earth, I hope. It's clearly not the sixth dimension. Um, I, uh, d yeah, um, who, who are you? I'm just some random driver who's driving a random car. But don't worry, you don't have nothing to fear from me. I'm a very safe driver, to, um, and, I've, and I'm very good, I'm very good at figuring out directions. I won't get lost or anything. You have nothing to fear from me. So wherever, I, wherever you need to be, uh, you can rely on me to take you there. Um... Okay, then, uh, well, you'll have to take me back to the sixth dimension, because that is where I'm from. Uh, because, uh, you know, I oh, am... Oh, I know where that is. That's easy to get to. Okay, well, we're going to have to go off to planet Earth. Um, are we on planet Earth? I assume we're on planet Earth. We are on planet Earth. Okay, good. So then, uh, that means we're in the, solar, the Milky Way. So, uh, the sixth dimension is, uh, only a few hundred light years, but you leave that up to Noodle Man once I get into space. Actually, you know what? I could just go off on my noodle, but, uh, hmm... I You're guess. stuck in here! Wait, I'm stuck in here. Until I take you to where you need to be. Teleportation! Did you hear that? Oh no. What have you done? What have you summoned? It, it's the secure lock system of this car. Uh, as soon as you activated your powers, the locks came on. Oh no. My own powers have worked against me. Who are you? I'm are just you a, a random driver in a random car. Do you quarrel with Noodle Man? Are you a villain? I'm not a villain, I, I'm just a random driver. Are you in alliance with Soul Man? I'm not, who is Soul Man anyway? Okay, never mind, he's my arch nemesis. Okay, um, yeah, so, uh, I, okay, I assume you're harmless, a harmless guy that just likes to take people around randomly. Okay, Noodle Man doesn't mind company, in fact, Noodle Man likes company of others, even if they are random eccentric people. Captain No Man loves random eccentric people. You don't people. mind? You really don't mind? I don't mind at all. I'll stay with you for a few minutes. How about that? Sounds like a plan. Alright. So where do we go from here? Right or left? I don't know this area. Okay, uh, okay but first... What, what, is, what does that say? It's a stop sign. What is that say? It's a stop sign. Do you know your road signs? Are you a real driver? That's a pop tarts. No, it's a stop sign. Oh no. Mm, pop tarts. I'm starving. I don't feel safe now. I'm locked in a car with somebody who may not know how to drive. Uh, do you recognize the the road sign? It says stop, and that's an avenue oh, sign that's behind stop. it. Stop. Okay. Yes. So okay, you're gonna make a left, I guess. I'm making a left. Okay. 
That's what it appears to be so. Hmm. Um, so, yeah, um, we're, how are we going to, oh, well, then again, uh, I guess I can't get out of here until you unlock the car, right? Um, well, the car unlocks itself. It unlocked itself, interesting, okay. Well, sir, since I'm going to be your company for a while, um, where are we going to go off to first? Uh, well, you said you need to get back to the sixth dimension, right? This is true. So, you need some very good technology to help you accomplish that goal. Well, I do only need my noodle, but, uh, I, know I always like trying new things. things. I know where I can find some of the best technology to make that happen. And where is that? The United States Department of Defense. Aha! Uh -huh. So, mm. so... Uh, so we're gonna have to get there. So, so we're, gonna, we're, we're gonna have to go to the. So we're gonna have to go to get, consult with the defense department. Take so 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 we can get the technology you need to get back to your to your home. Well, Noodle Man likes trying new things. Okay, I'll try it. I'm sure they won't charge Noodle Man either. Cause all right, so we're going to the square. I thought the Pentagon. Now, are you nuts, man? So it does don't. Every American knows that the Department of Defense is housed in the square. Is it? Oh. Is that, right? is, that, is that left or is that right? Or left that, or right? It's a left, sir. Left, right. Uh, We're uh, at a big uh, intersection, uh, sir. I suggest uh, you pay attention. Okay, that's left. Okay. Uh, okay, yes. I'm glad you have established your left and rights. Thank you. Yes. It appears that you don't have a firm grasp of what they are. Uh, this camera device seems to be shaky. But, hmm. Uh, so yeah. I thought, Where is the square? I thought the Pentagon was... Didn't I just explain it to you, mister? That the square holds the United States Defense Department? I what assure is the you, Pentagon? in Noodle Man's immense knowledge of the planet Earth, I have not heard of the square as some kind of uh, highly advanced technology place. Uh, yeah, I have not heard of such a place. Uh... But Every maybe, American knows that the United States Defense Department is housed in the square. I, I guess so then. I guess it's a place I know I'm not aware of. Well, so you'll have so, to show me, sir. Wait, I, where are we going again? To the square, sir. That's what you said. What's the square? Uh, I don't know. You know the area, not me. Uh, oh, we have to find that area of a square. Uh, how do you do that? No, 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 the area of a square is different. It is the pentagon. Uh, Explain no. to me how you find the area of a square. Length times width, Mr. Driver, Mr. Crazy Driver, may I add? Length times width? Yes, length times width. What is length and what is width? Oh, uh, uh, wait, isn't width like EEO width of something? The width of the other. Oh, that's all the all the things take. I'll tell you what I'm getting a whiff of your craziness. Uh, what is craziness? It's what you are, and it's what I am. And a new man does enjoy craziness. Uh, who we are? It's not when it puts him in danger of. Uh, yes. Who are we again? I don't know. I'm Noodle Man, and you are. What is your name anyway? My name is Uno Mazara. Uno Yes, that right? <laughs> okay, Mr. Unamaga. <laughs> then, we're off to the square. So, wait, oh wait, what, what, um, what's so special about the square? You said that it has highly advanced technology that can help me get back to my home dimension. Oh, wait, we're at the town square. Oh, good. Wait, wait, wait. I'm still confused. Where are we going? The square, sir. Which square? This square or whatever other square? Is there more than one square? I don't know. You tell me, sir. Mr. Moon McGough. Wait, oh, what was our purpose again? Well, to for you to give me a tour of this area I'm not aware of and to give me technology to go back home because, you know, I said I like trying new things. So instead of using my noodle this time, I'll use technology provided... Oh, oh, well, brain blast! I just figured out where we're going. We're gonna go to the United States Defense Department to get you the technology we need to get you back to your home world. So you know where we're going? To the Pentagon! Okay, so we're going to the Pentagon now. Alright, that's what I suggested at first. So why did you raise all the square nonsense? I didn't raise all the square nonsense. You did. I did? Wait. I'm not 
supposed to raise any nonsense? I have a no nonsense restraining order. Well, sir, you know what? Where is my no nonsense restraining order? I never go anywhere without it. Check the car compartment. I don't know, sir. You appear to have uh, some craziness in you. And, uh, in, but if you have a no restraining order policy, then that means that you can't be crazy. That means you're being illegal. That's why I said I always carry a I usually <coughs> Pardon me. I usually always carry a no nonsense restraining order. Oh, then um I think uh, I tell you to find it in the car compartment just now. I mean, yeah. Well, alright, let me see. I mean, yeah, okay, I found something here and uh it's What is this something that you found? It's a no nonsense I mean no craziness restraining order, yes, it says that no not, nonsense restraining order. No nonsense restraining order. In which it, ex it, it, it empirically and explicitly states that I'm not supposed to hear any nonsense of any kind from anyone, smart or dumb. Um, okay then. It also says you're not allowed to just drag people into your car and lock the doors. But you know what? I didn't lock the doors. The cars, uh, the car locks uh, lock themselves whenever they, they would get a, whenever they receive a massive energy signature, which you just gave out. Oh boy, you certainly have your loopholes, Mr. Kunmaka. Did you find my no nonsense restraining order? Yes, I did actually. It's Wait, a... that isn't my no nonsense restraining order. I'm thinking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to pull over somewhere and find a video yeah. where that is. Yeah, you will have to actually. Um, oh. This looks vaguely familiar. Oh, wait a minute. This is Ardsley High School, isn't it? This is where I came and bestowed my spirit onto Ardsley. On the day of October uh, 2nd, I think it was, of 2009. Uh, what, what is high school? Well, sir, it's, uh, it's a high school, and this is where uh, my alter you ego... You lost me at school. My alter ego, Matt Linto... What's an alter ego? Didn't you go to high school with him? It's been like six, three years or something. I don't know. If it's oh, been... you must be referring to, to, to my friend Ryan Ali. He went to school with you. Sure. Um, you look a lot like him, except you have a big tree branch head. Oh, wait, did Ryan Ali have a tree branch head too? Yeah, you, yeah. It's like a tree bush something, if that makes any sense. Then again, if you don't have to make sense, then I don't have to make sense. So, yeah, I don't have to make sense either, right? What is that? It's an American flag. What's the American flag? It's the symbol of this country. That well, well, are we? Well, yes, we're in the United States because this is clearly our. Day. Are you abusing that I'm not patriotic? Well, um. Because I, wait, sir, wait, am indeed a staunch patriot. Uh, you know what, sir? J j just show me more around. Keep on going. Wait, wait, wait. We pull over so I can figure out what you just found. Let me see what it is. Okay. My no nonsense restraining order, sir. What is it? It's a it's a program that. Let me see. Let me go fine tune my readers here. Um, it's oh, it says pro, CD program to teach random driver how to not be so crazy. Hmm. I wonder what this was. This thing was about. Hmm. Ponder. Uh, what was it supposed to? Probably to teach you to not drive so Wait, crazy. Don't tell me. I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, 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 come on, I know it, I know it for sure, come on, Brain Blast, uh, come on Brain Blast, you can do it, uh, uh, oh, I can't figure it out, oh, who cares, I didn't need it anyway, let's yeah. go, wait a minute, where did he, that was some very important information apparently, but you just chucked it, I chucked what, the information about how you're not supposed to be crazy, in driving, Mr. Oh, crazy that's Driver. Crazy. How, how could you? How could you just let me throw something very important that was very important to me? How could you? You've come, you've entered on the on the pinnacle of irresponsibility. You know, you're contradicting yourself. Aren't you the one that said that you're not supposed to say have, take any nonsense from anybody or not tell you what to do or anything? So I can't really tell you what to do in your own car that has me apparently trapped here by these doors that use my own power against me when I use it. I told you, this car will unlock once I get you to your destination. Didn't you hear me when I was speaking the very first, for first sentences? You told me after to the, you. you told me after the fact. No, I didn't. You're lying. 
And you're truthing. Wait, what? Again, I don't have to make sense of you. I'm not a truther. Go ask Donald Trump. He knows all about the truthers. Uh, I don't know if I can even get out of this car. Oh, there's the field. There's the football field. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice football field. Yes, it is indeed. I have memories over there. Are those giant golden forks? Um, yes, That Mr. you eat the cake with. Yes, Mr. Crazy Driver, oh, they I are. Wanna get a, I want to get my hands on one yeah, of those I, things. No, I know. I, I oh, think they're very car, dirty. No, this car is a mind of its own at some point, apparently. Uh, it's taking me away from the big I'm sure they're pretty, dirty, they're pretty dirty forks, sir. Uh, no. How do you know? You can't even see if they have any stains. They're field goal posts, you crazy... Naive, dim witty. They're not field goal balls. They're giant kicking, two pronged forks. Oh uh, my god! And what size cake would would you be able to eat that with? The very ones in your home world. Well, yes. I mean, in six dimension, everything. So is there a... you go. I need one of those forks. But this car was apparently pulling me. Are away you from saying me? you would like an invitation back to the sixth dimension? Yes, I would like an invitation back to the sixth dimension. Well, very well then. If we could just get out of here, East, then maybe I can take you back there. Aboard my noodle, or whatever advanced technology that we find, if we ever do find it, if we ever do get to the Pentagon. All right, we're supposed to go to the Pentagon. Yes, indeed we are, sir. All right, let's go. Mr. Unamagana. Yeah, that's right. I'm Mr. Unamagana. I'm the smartest guy that there ever is, so you don't have to worry. I'm you the know, most trustworthy driver there is in this entire world. You know... Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not so sure about the trustworthy part, but, uh, yeah. Uh, How do you know I'm not so trustworthy? It's oh, a, can you read my mind? It's been a good 15 minutes, and uh, in that short time, I've seen that you're not as trustworthy as I thought. But then again, we haven't crashed yet, so uh, I guess I can trust you. So wait, aren't you being ironic? Yeah, I just contradicted myself. Oh, well. Wait, superheroes aren't supposed to contradict themselves? Superhero. It's the law of nature. The law of nature. Uh, uh, Article yeah. four, class two, uh, section two, class eight, um, subclass sixty-five, uh, no sixty-nine says, and I quote, that superheroes are not supposed to contradict themselves. Let me tell you, uh, uh, yeah. Let me tell you something about superheroes. Mr. I'm Mr. Know it all. I am a superhero. The only thing that we're required to do is protect the Earth. We can be as contradicting and as uh, bipolar or whatever as we want, as long as we secure the world and keep all evil at bay. Besides that, we can be as crazy and eccentric and whatever else that we want. So, yes, I can be ironic. I can be contradictive, if that's even a word. And yes, I can be all of that. Wait, if you can be ironic and contradictive, then I shouldn't. Be, then I should be ironic and contradictive, and therefore I shouldn't make any sense. And if both, and, and you, and thus you shouldn't make any sense. And if both of us can't make any sense, and everyone in this entire town can't make any sense. And if everyone in this entire town can make any sense, then everyone in the entire county can make any sense. And if everyone in the, then every, then if every, then if everyone in this county can't make any sense, then everybody in the neighboring counties can't make any sense. And everybody in all those counties can't make any sense. If everybody in this entire state can't make any sense, if everybody in New York State can't make any sense, then everybody in all 50 states can't make any sense, and if everybody in all 50 states can't make any sense, then this country doesn't make it, then this whole country doesn't make any sense, then everybody in, then everybody in this whole country doesn't make any sense. Why am I even gibbering? Wait, because I don't make any sense. That's why we started this whole, that's why I started this whole process with, and now if everybody, if this entire country can't make, can make any sense, then if, every, then everybody in the neighboring, in the neighboring countries can't make any sense, then if everybody in those countries can't make any sense, then everybody in every country can't make any sense. And if all those countries can't make then if every country can't make any sense, then the whole world can't make any sense. And if the whole world can't make any sense, and then this whole solar then everybody in this whole solar system can make any sense. And if there are other forms of life of if there are if there are other forms of life there is. And if this whole solar system can't make any sense, then all the other solar systems can't make any sense. And if all the all if every solar system can't make any sense, then this whole entire galaxy can't make any sense. And if this entire galaxy if it's, and if this entire galaxy can't make any sense, then all the galaxies can't make can't make any sense. Yes. If every galaxy can't make any sense, then this whole universe can't make any sense. I like the way you think. Thank you. I really do. I really am gonna say things. Noodle Man likes to spread uniqueness. Okay? And uh yes, making no sense is a way of spreading uniqueness. And I like We're it. gonna pull over in this church. 
Oh, a church. Newman does like to... Oh, this looks vaguely familiar as well. Actually, it appears that we did a film over here. Hmm. But yes, I do like the way you think, my friend. Mr. Unamagach. That's right. No one underestimates Mr. Unamagach. Yes, that's right. I'm capable of thinking in the most complex of terms. You know, when you say your name, it sounds a lot like you're blowing your nose. Is there by any chance that your name originates from the Greek words from for blowing your nose? That is a stupid question. Well, well, does it? Again, that is a stupid question. I guess it does then, right? It does. Oh, hmm, hmm. Interesting. So, basically, your name means blowing noses. So every time Noodle Man blows his nose, he will think of Unamagach. How could you say that? That's insulting. If you're saying that, uh, that, that if someone blows their nose, they're going to think of my name with Mr. Unamagach. I would think you would take it as a compliment, Mr. Unamagach. Well, I don't. I take it as a flat-out insult. Well then, Nuna Man apologizes for the insult. Um, yes. I apo I accept your apology. Okay then. Hmm. Well, so, uh, how far away is the Pentagon from here anyway? Wait, why are we driving to the Pentagon? That's so far away, that's like between Virginia and Maryland. Are you crazy? I thought that's where we were going to get your highly advanced technology. Why would I want to drive that distance? Oh, just make your left turn, Mr. Crazy. Are you stupid? Didn't you see that no left turn sign? Well then, go straight. I don't know. You're right. Maybe your driving skills aren't... Oh, so aren't... I'm going right then. Maybe your driving skills aren't as bad as I thought. Yeah. Don't also, you can read signs. Don't but... ever underestimate my driving skills. But you didn't know what it stops at. I, I don't know. I'm starting to get to know. I'm starting to get to know you a little better, Mr. Unamagash. I'm glad we're going in. We're getting to know each other quite well. Yes, I'm. I'm starting to know that sometimes you could be stupid. We're at an intersection. This is not time for one of your brain farts. This is not time for one of your brain farts, Mr. Unamagash. Okay, that's the right. Yes, that's the right. Sure. Okay. Even though it's I told you I'm right. No, you're not right about being left. Uh -huh. I mean, uh -huh. I'm confused. Okay. You made a left and claimed you were right about going to the right when in fact you were going to the left. Does that make sense to you, Mr. Unamagach? No, this way is right. It's right. And that's left. You know what? If, uh, um, how did you pass your road? You know what? I'm not, I'm not even going to assume you passed a road test. I'm just going to assume you came from... Maybe you're from my dimension. No, I'm, I'm actually from possible? Bikini Bottom, and I live the, and I live with Patrick Starr in SpongeBob SquarePants. Do you really? Yes. Oh, you don't look like a sea creature. Perhaps you change forms. Well, my mummy and Barnacle Boy were originally human, but they became sea creatures. This is true. So tell me your story, Mr. Crazy Driver. Tell me. Okay. Um, once upon a time, there was this guy named Mr. Unamagami. And, oh, <laughs> And apparently, yes. one day he was he was in his house watching some random TV show, when all of a sudden, this mutating ant crawled upon his skin. No, wait, it wasn't a mutating ant. It was a mutating mosquito. And it was a female mosquito, because those are the mosquitoes that bite. So the female mosquito, who was radioactive, so, um, bit into uh, Mr. Unamazar's skin, uh, and suddenly, as she was sucking out the blood from him, she also inserted radiation into his body. And over time, the radiation began to intensify within it, within Mr. Unamaga. <laughs> <And> <laughs> yes. It's yes. not funny, okay? It's not funny. It's not a funny story. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Keep going. All right. So, yeah. So as the radiation was building up inside Mr. Unamaga, <laughs> um, he suddenly began developing his weird pa these, these, these weird powers. And suddenly, he became a random driver. The random crazy driver, I may add. The random crazy driver. That is a very interesting story, Mr. Unmagach. And yes, thus, he gave, very the, interesting he gave the ability to breathe underwater, and thus went to live in Bikini Bottom. Oh. With SpongeBob, wow. SpongeBob, Patrick Star, and Squidward Tentacles. Well, really? 
Exactly. That yeah. is a really interesting one. But the story doesn't stop, dude. Oh, it doesn't? It does oh. not stop. Please it. enlighten me further, Mr. Unamadak. I shall enlighten you <laughs> further, Mr. Moodleman. Yes, uh, thank you. Yes. So, oh, still the radiation was still building up even then in Mr. Unamagali. <laughs> Or yours truly, and suddenly he gave me the ability to even breathe air in addition to breathing water. Did he give you superpowers as well? Unfortunately, no. He didn't give me superpowers. Oh, because then we could spar if we if you did have superpowers. You and a man would love to spar with you if you did. Wait, why would I want to spar with you? Because I'm a superhero and you're a super. Well, I don't know what you are, but uh, if you were to have superpowers, then we could spar. If we had superpowers and we could spar? That means fight with martial arts skills. Basically uh, means practicing your martial arts skills. But in our terms, it would be practicing your superhero or superpower skills. I'm not sure what you mean by sparring. Does that mean you look up into the sky and see spars? You know what? Yes, actually. It can mean that too. You've created a new term that Noodle Man actually quite likes. I'm liking the way you think, Mr. Unamagak. I like what am I got? terms all that I want because this world doesn't make any sense as we just talked about. Oh yes, that's right. So anything makes sense because it doesn't make sense. Does that make sense, Mr. Unamagak? <laughs> it does indeed, Mr. Unamagak. Yes. If anything, everything doesn't make sense, then that means that anything can make sense. Wow, I'm proud to live in this world. I'm so fortunate. You know what? This is starting to look a lot more like my home. The sixth dimension. So yeah, are we going to the Pentagon or what? Wait, if we're in the sixth dimension now, we don't even need to go to the Pentagon. What? We're not wait, in the sixth wait. dimension. Yeah, ma- you know what I just discovered, Mr. Noodleman? Yes. I discovered I can drive long distances. You can? Oh, great. But are we going to the Pentagon? No, we are not. You know what? I, I just... Okay, this is beginning to be a bug. Much. Uh, I need to get out of here. Get me out of here, this crazy driver already. I need to get back to my hometown. It appears as though we're not going anywhere. What's the name of your hometown? The Sixth Dimension, Mr. Crazy Driver. Uh, is that... I must get out of here! Is that Peak Skills, the Sixth Dimension? No, Peak Skill is... I think it's upstate, I don't know. I, I don't familiarize myself too well with the Earth because I spend most of my time in the Sixth Dimension. Wait, so if you, don't familiarize, if you don't familiarize yourself with the Earth that much, why are you even saving it? Well, I, I save it, yes, but other than that, I, I don't familiarize myself with it too much. Wait, if you don't, if you, um, uh, you lost me, Mr. Mulemon. So if you're trying to save a world, why don't you familiarize yourself with it? I ask you. You know what, Mr. Crazy Driver? I'm just going to film you and your tree head with this camera device that appears to just be filming us in the car. Wait, how could you grab the camera device if this car is a mind of its own? Didn't you notice at first it locked itself? Then it pulled me away from this golden, luscious, uh, golden, golden cake eating forks. You mean the field goal post? Mr. Unamagak. <laughs> you caused me to have mucus come out of my throat when I say your name. Do you know that, Mr. Unamagak? <laughs> Ew! There's, there's mucus all over the seats! How could you? How is Noodle Man gonna get himself out of this one, folks? I don't know. I'm stuck with Mr. Unamagak, the crazy driver. Uh, wait, why are we going? You know, no, 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 no. You have to make a no. You have to make a left here, I think, because that's the way we went before. Okay. So but we'll make it be left. careful, Mr. Unamagak. Mr. Thank you. No, wait a minute. You just made a right, Mr. Unamagak. No, this is left. Again, you're wrong. You're left about being right. I'm left about being right. Exactly. No, you're more like you're left about. Oh, so so I'm the only person who makes who's right about anything. Um. Because you said I was left of being. I was left. I was left of being right. Hmm. I was left being right. Sorry. You know what? You have successfully. You have successfully. Um. Outwitted Noodle Man in, in a test of mind. Uh. Let me see. Mind play. Yes. It appears as though you are right. You know what? Your craziness has taken Noodle Man to such a level where. It has outwitted him to him for a minute. Well, you are something else, Mr. Unamagak. 
Um, Mr. Yeah. Noodleman. Yes. Um, there's something going off the camera. It's being sucked back to the car's mainframe. Mainframe? What? What do you mean? It's just being absorbed back to the car's mainframe. The camera you're holding. You're, you're, it, it's pulling. It's pulling the camera against you. Oh uh, no! Being sucked back to the mainframe. And soon we're soon gonna be both videotaped once again. Um. Yes. Yeah. This is gonna take a lot to figure out how to get out of, folks. Um. I guess this is Noodle Man, the crazy driver. Oh no, it's bullying me! The camera's being pulled in even further into the mainframe! Okay, folks, uh, Noodle Man's being pulled into the camera, and the crazy driver no, is. No, I as said well. the camera's being pulled into the mainframe of the car! Well, then, before the camera gets pulled into the mainframe, I guess I just want to say this has been a fun time, folks, and, uh, you know, Mr. Winamagab. Anybody else? Should have the pleasure to become his friend. I'm his acquaintance, and hopefully, I can get out of this car one day before the camera goes away. Oh, okay. Ah! <laughs> okay, and we're back. <laughs> um. All right. Well, we apologize for taking so long for um coming back this year, but uh, this is now our second year um doing the show. And we have a lot in store for you this this uh, this year, including some more of my uh, stuff people say videos. My next video is going to be uh, stuff our teachers said, and it'll be filmed at uh, at Arthur High School. I'm not in high school, but around the high school. So that should be interesting. And we we'll, we will also be having the Lento Bowl in a couple of weeks, the day before the Super Bowl. So if you'd like to play. Hit either one of us up, and we shall draft you in our live draft, which will take place soon. Not sure when, but soon. All right, till next time, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, take it easy. Welcome to the first episode of the 2013